A snow pit is a trench exposing the snow face that reveals for study the entire thickness of snow on the ground at the location of interest. The snow pit will be studied to understand the stratigraphy of the snowpack and to correlate the layering with weather events and metamorphic changes in the snowpack which happen over time. All of this will lead to a better understanding of the history of winter. The following basic steps compose the snow pit protocol. First, choose the site representative of the area and be assured that appropriate clothing for extended time outdoors is worn. The site should be unaltered by man or machines. Before you begin, pay attention to the sun. Measurements should be taken when the sun is not on the snow face that you will create. Using a flat face shovel, a trench with a vertical face is dug in the snow cover down to the ground surface and the depth of the pit is measured with the measuring tape. Next, a temperature profile of the snow cover is taken by inserting calibrated thermometers or thermocrons at designated increments along the face of the pit. Okay, it's going into 60 centimeters. The density of the snow in the profile is determined by sampling the wall of the pit with a density tube. The tube is weighed when empty prior to use and again when filled with snow. Then the density is calculated. From the density, it is possible to calculate the water equivalents of the snow in profile. So level 30 centimeters is 459 grams. Great. The hardness in the snow profile is determined using an index finger to probe the pit wall from top to bottom. The presence of layering in the pit wall is observed and then marked. Finally, the grain size and shape of snow grains in the profile are established using a snow card and a magnifying lens. All data is carefully recorded as it is collected and can be analyzed at a later time when everyone is back inside where it's warm. In a classroom setting, several sites may be chosen, some of which include drifting. These can then be contrasted. Snow pits are important study sites for researchers interested in the hydrologic consequences of the snow contained in the snowpack. Routinely, 